Well, we do have a lot. The of XFL other, other has shut down. Oliver the, Luck suing Vince McMahon. Oliver Luck suing And there's Vince no way. I, I don't think there's any way he's the only one. There will there have to be more. Um, he screwed everybody. Yeah. Well, Oliver Luck in particular. Um, yeah, it looks like um, the number the number is not. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The number is not in the. It's in the lawsuit, but it's sealed because of confidentiality having to do with the contract. But it's believed to be around twenty million dollars that um, he's going to be suing for. And so the the deal with Oliver Luck is is that Vince McMahon had guaranteed him the money. It was not contingent on the league surviving. That's why he left his position um, as one of the top guys in the NCAA. And um, you know even. You know, even if the, basically, even if the league folded, he was supposed to get the money. So what Vince did was the day before he closed the league, he he basically ceased all communication with Oliver Luck at the end, and then he out of nowhere, the day before, um, he told everyone else that the league was folding. He sent a letter to Oliver Luck saying that he was fired, and he gave all these reasons why that Oliver Luck was fired, and it's going to be really tough because, in actuality, you know, one of the things that that came out that shocked me is actually how little money the company actually, the XFL actually lost. Um, Vince was telling people that he was putting $500 million in, and he'd sold $389 million of stock. And he only, by the time he folded the league, not including the, the debts that, that he owes now, you know, however much that is, he actually was only down $44 million. So, um, and that's with... Um, loaning himself or loaning the league money which was far less than the money that he said he was putting in in the first place but it was a way to make himself a um a creditor in the bankruptcy so that perhaps he could get even more money back because he loaned whatever it was nine million dollars so, so he's so he's now the actual leading debtor the, the person that they owe the most money to is not like um Oliver Luck isn't even on the list, nor any of the executives, because Vince fired them um, for, for due cause, you know, for just cause. Essentially, because they ran the company so well that it lost way less money than everyone thought. Um, so that's what they were fired for, evidently. And, um, you know, so um, the coaches that are owed, you know, depending on the coach, anywhere from a little over half a million to uh, Bob Stoops, which was over a million, um, they um they're the biggest debtors other than the city of of st louis which i believe is owed 1.6 million so vince would be actually owed you know a tremendous amount because he loaned the league money instead of put money in so they could make their last two payrolls before the announcement was made that they're firing everyone and closing the league so this is a real um you know um Vince is the, the Oliver Luck because Oliver Luck's a, a pretty big name in sports and and um, very well respected. And the fact that he would screw Oliver Luck out of this kind of money, um, there's a lot of people. Um, you know, I, I mean, the, Vince's rep is real, real bad right now. What an I mean, absolute irony! That the whole point, well, one of the points of the XFL was so that he could be remembered as a great sports businessman. And after it fails once, he decides to give it one more try. He's going to be that great sports businessman. And it ends like this with him screwing all of her luck out of the money he promised. Screwing everyone. And, screwing and losing all of that, whatever respect he might have had. Yeah, screwing not just all of her luck, but all the executives. Everybody. Um, everyone in the league. The people who, you know, like the people who, you know, what it was printing shops. You know, all the mom and pops or every organization that he did, the, the, the merchandise people. All these people are just getting, you know, you know, well, we're bankrupt. I'm. Um, it's, it's pretty sad in a lot of ways. But um, I mean, you can see, look. There's no denying anymore who and what Vince McMahon is, and the people who tried to defend him. I mean, then some people still will, but it's pretty much. I think it's gone way beyond. Def I mean, I mean, I guess the Khashoggi thing, kind of, was really the telling sign for the people who didn't believe. But this is like this is this is a different situation. I'm not saying it's it's not it's better or worse. It's different, but it's a another level of um, you know he's he's um, he's not good for his word. I mean, like in this case in particular, you know, telling everyone how much he was willing to lose. And I mean, he wasn't. 
you know, when the pandemic came, he, he just, ah, you know, as soon as he made that call that he's, con- you know, I, I'm sure the call was that in this period now um, that, you know, he didn't think that the company had a chance to get one of those TV deals. And he may very well be right. Um, but he didn't even stick it out to find out. And as soon as he made that call, you know, that he was going to, um, that he was going to close the league, you know, he pretty much didn't communicate with anyone on that, on the league side. And he plotted essentially a way to screw everyone as, and not, not only screw everyone, but screw everyone actually as much as possible. So Oliver Luck's lawsuit essentially is that, um, he was wrongfully terminated and therefore is entitled to the, remainder of the 20 million or 25 million i guess probably 20 because it was based on um it was based on like performance bonuses so it could have gone i think the number was 20 million base and then 30 30 million if they hit certain performance bonuses which obviously they won't hit because they're not um playing but um yeah all those people were told you know like good for three seasons i mean that was he promised three seasons and um and granted things changed and and Maybe under other circumstances, he would have gone the three seasons. Um, but, you know, he he made the call to stop. So um, he may, I don't know, McDivitt's going to be defending him in this case. But um, I, I don't know. I, I guess it just depends on it's It's in Connecticut. That's his home state, so to speak. But um, I guess it's going to come down to whether they buy the termination as being legitimate. If they buy the termination as being legitimate, then Oliver Luck's kind of screwed. But if they don't, if he can, and and the the problem for Vince is is that the numbers are better than projected, so therefore it's pretty hard to blame the CEO of the company for doing a bad job when he did a better job than expected. So, um, but we'll see. You know, McDivitt's a good lawyer. Um, I'm sure Oliver Luck's going to have a good lawyer too. It's not like he's going in there with some, um, you know some wrestler that he can bully you know if you know what i mean but um still in a lengthy in a lengthy lawsuit you know vince can survive longer than oliver luck i mean like even though oliver luck's got money he's not going to have the kind of money vince has um if it goes long and and it eventually um there's a good shot it'll be settled out of court for an undisclosed sum because usually that's what these things are so it's probably how it'll turn out but um yeah he screwed him big Um, it's pretty unethical, I'd say.